Hello, hi guys, good morning, welcome back to a new video. Hi, hi, chal, sabhanga siya. Hope you guys are doing good. In this one, see problem. Count the sub arrays where maximum element appears at least three times. I don't know, but this week, and I should say these last three consecutive two days has been on the same problem. But again, if you are watching it for the first time, please go and watch this video, which gives you proper intuition and how to think of if a problem is actually of two pointers or starting window or not. Again, for practice problems, in this I have given two problems for practice, and in this video itself, I have given one another problem in this video for practice, and this is also video for practice. So there will be many problems. There will be five problems for your practice itself to actually for you to know and understand. Now coming on back, the problem is more or less very same pattern as that what we are seeing so far. You are given an integer array nums and a positive integer k. Okay. Now we have to return the number of sub arrays where Again, we are counting on and we have to return the count of the sub arrays. So for sure, the very basic intuition comes is that we can just apply brute force as in find out number of sub arrays and then apply our next operation. So next operation is maximum element of nums appear at least k times in that in that array, in that sub array. So maximum element of nums any element which is actually maximum has the maximum value in this entire nums array that is the maximum element so let's let's say i name that maximum element as max i is the maximum element so for sure this max i i can easily find by using either my stl because in languages we have underscore uh, sorry star as in just to address that maximum underscore element and then the array itself and also, if you don't know, you can simply do a one loop to find what is the maximum element. Again, if I say for this array, maximum element is three, because you can see maximum value is three in this array. For this element, for this array, maximum element is four. So finding maximum element is a very easy task. Let's say if I know what is my maximum element. Now, my question now becomes is maximum element should appear at least k times. When I say at least k, I actually mean that maximum element frequency frequency of maximum element should be greater than equal to k if that is the case for that in for that sub array so i will say that sub array is actually a good sub array for me and i can take that sub array so for sure you got to know what is the basic task which you need to perform first is you can easily find the all the sub arrays which is o of n square then for every sub array grab the frequency of the max i if that frequency is more than equal to k then that's a good sub array and you can increase your answer by one same way i'll keep on doing for all these sub arrays okay that will be o of n cube which means o of n square for the sub array and to get that condition again o of n which is this condition and we have seen just to improvise that o of n cube we have a basic formula that we can just directly while computing the sub arrays itself we can keep on adding the frequency of this max i and with that while computing the sub arrays i will be knowing the frequency also of that specific sub array so the, so that can boil down to o of n square now again uh, we have been seeing so far is the exact same problem in which if i visualize the exact same array which is given in the question itself or you can also make by yourself so what will happen is that if i have this array now the frequency of max i element as i go forward will keep on increasing it will always again i'm only dealing with frequency always make sure it is never about the elements itself maybe it can have a zero element also it can have anything but when i say increasing again if if you had remembered in this video we have mentioned that how to recognize if a problem is of two pointers then we say the pattern will be increasing the pattern will be decreasing the pattern will be decreasing increasing the pattern will be increasing decreasing so in these patterns i can easily apply two pointers but when i say pattern i actually mean pattern i never mean the numbers so you can see numbers can be increasing decreasing, increasing. but the pattern i want for the answer to find out it's actually always increasing so if i go on from left to right always the frequency of any element although we want maximum element but the frequency of any element will always keep on increasing so i know it will always increase and as i go on from the left okay if i if let's say i have if if i go from the left to right okay it will keep on increasing but then if i let's say go from left as I go on in right, it will always increase. As I, as I go on and shrink my window, it will start decreasing. So we have a very fixed thing. Okay, as I go on, my J pointer will move again. J is always ahead of I. 
as usually how I take it. You can also take vice versa. It's totally up to you. But for me, I is before. Okay, great. My camera is not working, but cool. So basically, I is before and J is afterwards. And thus, it is the reason that J i uh, as in uh, the i will always move ahead sorry j will always move ahead and i will come following it and i when i will move frequency frequency will actually decrease cool uh, that's a strange thing i recognize my camera is now working cool now uh, coming on back what we can do is okay we know one thing that we have that exact same two pointers in which as my j is moving my frequency will increase as my i will move my frequency will decrease but there's a slight catch again the catch is just in the standard template if, if you had remembered we have built a standard template that okay while j is less than n i will simply keep on moving my j and as i keep on moving my j okay for sure as i in the very beginning i let's say i have my inj here so for sure at every step i know that okay i will move my j i will move my j ahead i will move my j ahead so as i'm moving my j ahead basically i am saying i am actually encountering or basically grasping that frequency element that free that that element although you might say r and i only want maximum frequency yeah that is true we can incorporate the, that, that that later on but primarily what i want is okay i will take an unordered map and will say that the nums of j plus plus by saying okay this is the at i'm at the jth value okay its frequency is what i want and that i have increased okay great now usually what we have seen is that we have a while loop so that okay when the condition is not satisfied or basically when the condition violates we actually end up increasing our i pointer so let's have with some other color that as soon as what we have again i'm showing you what we have done usually if the, while the condition is violating i will actually end up increasing my i pointer and then here i end up actually increasing my answer value that is what usually we do but 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 if we go and look back okay what is the case when thing violates when thing violates again what i want is that the frequency of the maximum element that's what i want primarily it should be more than or equal to k that is what i want and in the very beginning itself as you can see here the frequency of maximum element maximum element is three here the frequency again you will actually do map of one will become a one which means map of this element one will become a frequency of one so you can easily see the frequency this condition is already violated it is already violated. It is not that, okay, I'm moving and then the condition got violated. Okay, it, it was already violated. So I can just reverse this entire pattern. What I can do is, okay, I know the condition outside will be violated. So this answer cannot come here because it can actually infer that, okay, you are actually adding your answer in a violated condition itself. So this answer can not come here itself. Okay, one thing is for sure. And I can just reverse it. Okay. If the condition actually satisfies, let's bring it in the while loop because I know it, it should be vice versa. Okay. If the outside condition is satisfying inside, if it, if it starts violating, I will bring it inside. Or I can say that, okay, if the outside condition is being violated, okay, it, if it starts satisfying, bring it inside. So I can just reverse that. There's a slight catch of how I can reverse it. So what I will say, okay, if the map, of maximum i again maximum i can simply bring out by doing a simple for loop if i say mac, mac, map of maximum i if it is more than equal to k and if my i is less than equal to j i can simply keep on moving my i pointer and as i say okay map uh, when 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 it is already more than equal to k and i is less than equal to j i know my i will move ahead so for sure i can simply say that okay map of nums of i nums of i should actually reduce because at the i i'm moving my i pointer next as i did increase here i can just simply reduce here and also rn where is the answer you told that answer will not come here yeah i know that this is now the valid condition for me if this is now the valid, valid condition if something is more it is a valid, valid condition for me so if something is actually valid i will actually have to increase my answer now answer will be what answer plus is equals to what if you go and look back, okay, if you have any array, any array, let's say this is the array window. Now, you know that i is here, j is here. If this is the window I gave you and I, I, and I ask you, what are all these sub arrays? What are all these sub arrays? Imagining this window and I ask you, what are all these sub arrays? Then you can say, Aryan, I can only see one sub array. So, Aryan, are you saying that I should add a plus one here? I will say, bro, hold on, hold on. Just imagine what will happen next. 
what will happen next next what will happen is you know that your map which means your frequency of the maximum element is 2 and that is satisfied so your window will come inside when things satisfies it will come inside if it will come inside it will start shrinking it will increase your eye so it is not right now satisfying so it will start shrinking if it will start shrinking so your window will become i and j like this now if a window shrinks which means for sure for sure you will never again this is a standard way of two pointers that okay if something goes it goes it will never come back if something if my something if i shrink it will never come back if something will never come back then you know that your i will never be at this location so and again your j will end up keep on increasing so you see one thing what you missed what you missed is that when your i was here then this was the array which you take in consideration by adding a plus one by adding a plus one you took that in consideration but did you not miss this also array because okay for sure if the map which means if the frequency of this entire has is is valid then for sure any other sub array will also be valid because this already will contain the specific windows it will be valid that is what you end up and what you might miss because you know that as soon as you will move ahead your eye okay now your window will become and start from the eye itself so before moving on your window you should actually incorporate all the possible answers which this window could have given which means i and j and this window could have easily given okay i can simply say any other window any other window starting from that specific i itself and ending at j because i know at j itself i have started started following or started satisfying my condition that the map of maximum or, the, or basically the frequency of maximum element if it is more than equal to k then i can simply say okay all these will be my answer now how will you say what, or what are all the, all the answers in this you can see that my answer will be two which means four and three ending in four and three how i can simply get that i can simply get that by saying answer plus is equals to n minus j so I can simply say answer plus is equals to n is 5. Again, you can also take in consideration you have the last element index or you can say you can just grab it by saying I will have n minus 1 minus j minus 1 or you can simply boil it down to saying I will have n minus j. n is 5. So 5 minus 3 will be 2. So you can see I will have two sub arrays contribution which will start from that specific i and okay ending I can have from here up till here and so on and so forth because I know as soon as in the next iteration my i will move ahead my i will move ahead so before that please grab all the possible answers for that specific i so i will simply add a n minus j and that will be my answer because again this answer is right now in this while loop because we know that this is where the condition start satisfying if the condition would have been satisfying as in the early problems a condition was satisfying outside so i was keeping my while loop outside and inside only it comes early i'm talking about early stage inside only it used to come when the condition starts like not satisfying and i make it satisfying but in this case outside condition is not satisfying when it comes inside then it starts satisfying but while as you can see while your map is more than equal to k then your condition is actually being satisfied and ultimately you can just increase your answer now you will see it's a simple two pointer so for sure your time will actually be again ultimately when this entire while loop is done you can simply return the answer that's a simple answer now uh you, you can see your time will be actually o of n and actually space again you are using a map and you are, you are actually increasing you are, you are going on to all the elements and increasing its frequency so the space will also be o of n but you know i know one thing for sure again i will i will show you the exact same code exact same code again firstly i went on in my unordered map i actually grabbed out oh, what is the maximum element again maximum element is any element which is actually having the maximum value so and i went on in this entire loop and again exact same thing which i wrote in the explanation also this is the exact same thing which i written and ultimately return the answer but in this fact you can see you you are actually as you have been doing you are actually num doing a frequency of nums of j you're increasing and they here also you are decreasing so for sure how many nums of j will be there they can they can be n distinct nums of j so that's the reason your space used will be o of n now we can for sure very easily improvise it because we can very bluntly see that what is happening but before that i will just want to show you a quick dry run of what we had of this algorithm how will happen as you can see that 
as we were at the specific i and j i simply added answer i added an n minus j which is 2 now for sure if something is valid i will increase my i i will shrink my window so i will increase my i as I, as i increase my i again this is valid if something is valid again it will come in the while loop as it comes in the while loop i will simply add n minus j n minus j will be again be 2 now what this 2 represents is okay one window is this and another window is this this is what this 2 represents again okay something is valid okay again you end up shrinking your window okay again you will end up shrinking your window now things becomes things becomes invalid your condition becomes invalid so for sure i will go on by default increasing my j pointer because j pointer will increase at every step so by default i went on increasing my j pointer and now this is my window again add a n minus j now it became a one so you can also see that this is the window starting from i and going up till n how many windows how many sub arrays can be possible again uh, if as you can see right now it is valid so i added this my in my answer and then i will shrink my window again okay now this is my new window again this is valid so add its answer again shrink it okay as i shrink it now it is not valid now it is not valid okay sorry now it is not valid and thus i will simply say okay now you can simply and again in the next step if it is it is not 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 if it is not valid then simply in the next step you will actually increase your j and for sure after increasing your j you can see it has already moved out of n limit which means it has become equal to n and thus it will simply break down so now you have got the dry run done now we have seen that our time and space will be actually o of n but for sure we can see that this part is unnecessary this part is unnecessary why because i am actually only considering or only monitoring only the frequency of max of i so i just only need to consider the frequency of max of i that's it that's it so what i can do is i can change this by just adding two if loops if my nums of j is equal to max of i only then add in the map and only if your if your nums of i is equal to your max of i then only subtracted from your map only so basically you will see that your map will only have one element and that will be only of only max of i your map will have only one element so your unordered map will actually be saying o of one space because it has only one element and for this replacement you can actually also replace this by just one variable by just one variable and then just take that one variable let's say uh, freq of frequency and by saying here it is freq and here it is also freq so minus minus freq freq plus plus so we can also replace it again uh, initially the freq is actually zero so you can also replace this entire stuff by just saying this is the freq by just one variable and that is how you can actually reduce your space to o of one and time is still o of n because it's a simple two pointers cool thank you so bad. take care bye bye and that's again uh, for reference you can again solve all these five points which i have mentioned earlier bye bye take care